saying, here's an actual lead that one of our employers got in Mortgage Jobs Now. Can I read it to you real fast? Please. I have been an originator and branch manager for 13 plus years. I originate about 100 million a year of personal production. My branch does a total of approximately 200 million a year. I'm interested in your rates and your comp plan. Now, as an employer, would you like to get an email like that? That'd be a good one. That'd be a good one, right? Yep. Mortgage jobs now, very inexpensive. And I want to say fabulous something. I want to say something here. Yeah. That's a loan officer. I want you to think twice before picking up your license and moving to another company because that follows on your NMLS. And if you've had 10 employers in the last 11 years, trust me, that's going to compromise your ability to go out there negotiate certainly the best is. deal for you. And frankly, it says a lot about you not being able to find happiness anywhere. The grass isn't always greener over the septic tank. However, if you find yourself in a difficult situation where you do need to make a change in this drastically changing climate of musical chairs we have in the mortgage industry mm -hmm. right now, a great place to start is our mortgage jobs postings. You yes. can find the employer who's going to custom fit your needs. Click this banner over on your right on your desktop or scroll down on your mobile device. Hi, I'm Janelle Taylor with Realty One Group Complete, and here is my tip for the day. You can't always choose as a real estate agent who to work with, but if you're dealing with someone that you don't quite get along with, or you guys butt heads, just let the bullshit slide off and move on. Stephanie Whiting here with Synergy One Lending. My tip today for real estate agents is to not pre-screen your clients. From funds to close, to co-signers, to using rental income to qualify, to name a few. Generally speaking, potential borrowers aren't chomping at the bit to go into debt for 30 years. So in the spirit of Halloween coming up, don't spook them because they still remember the 2007-2008 recession. And by the way, allowing us as lenders to take over those conversations for you, allow you to have more conversations with more clients, getting you more deals in contract. Hope that helps. Frank Gray with the National Real Estate Post. My tip for you is very simple. Just have more conversations, actual physical conversations with people about mortgages or real estate. Think about that during the day. If you haven't done that, then that's your problem. My tip is for real estate agents. Everybody knows that you want to have the optimum curb appeal when you list a new house so you can get optimum price for that. Well, have you ever thought about the houses to the left and the right of that property? What do they look like? I'll tell you, here's a great tip. Go get a gardener and have them on speed dial. If you get a new listing or even on your listing presentations, talk about dressing up the houses to the left and the right of your new listing because that is going to leave an impression on those who may or may not put an offer in, but more importantly, what that offer is going to look like. This could be the difference between getting a listing and not getting it. It could also be the difference between top dollar or compromising. Hope that helps. This is Shannon Hoff with Finance America. My tip of the day is pick up your phone. Pick up your phone. It might increase your business actually. <laughs> it's important for your clients to know that you're gonna be available. If you're a real estate agent, loan officer, actually any type of business that you're in, just pick up your phone. I'm going to be doing 10 calls to see how many people actually pick up their phone to try and get a business opportunity. Let's go. This did not pick up. Next. I'm dialing, dialing the next one. Dialing for dollars. <laughs> but if nobody picks up, I'm not going to make money today. If they pick up, I'm just gonna say, sorry, wrong number. Yeah, seven, eight, eight rings. Okay, no go. Eight rings. The other one like 10. This one says open for business though. This is three, so I'm probably about to win. Voicemail. So what does that count as? That counts as nothing. It's a no. And these are the top. Like these are the ones that come up on Google, the top. Thank you for calling. We're to start a real estate. This is Karen. How can I help you? Oh, sorry. Wrong number. Thank you. <laughs> that one doesn't count. No receptionist. Yep. Calling number four again. Yep. That one doesn't count. Calling another one. Hi, thank you for calling the Guadalajara Catholic Group for Realty. To reach any Ooh, maybe I shouldn't have their full names on there. <laughs> My smell. Okay. Number four, Yep. Number four, 
voicemail. So now we've called four yeah. people so far, zero pickups. I have a good feeling. I'm even putting good vibes out there so people will pick up. This is call number five. Right now we're gonna be at a 50-50 chance. Pardon? Hi, this is Kim. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I have the wrong number. Um, were you looking to get a hold of Jessica or Masumi? No, I think I have a wrong number. What company is this? From Dunn Purdy and Company at Keller Williams. Oh, okay. Wrong number. Thank you. Okay. Okay, bye. No worries. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Are you sure? You yeah. think so? Okay, so then that one doesn't count. Okay, so now we're going for number five again. But worst case scenario, at least they have somebody picking up, right? Oh, sorry, wrong number. Okay. Thanks. Okay, bye-bye. I, th I don't think that was a receptionist. My number five. Picked up? Yeah, she well, said. I don't think that was a receptionist. Yeah, so I got, we got one. We got one so far. Okay. Picked up. Okay. Here's my call number six. And I get some music. Is this a No. Yep. Voicemail. That's call number six. So, so far, we have one pickup out of six. I thought it would be a 40% chance of people Connecting picking up. Your call. Then forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Yep. Okay. So, that was... Number seven, right now we have one out of seven that have actually picked up. I am calling number eight. Hi, Jamie. I'm sorry, who is this? This is Jamie. Oh, I'm sorry, I have the wrong number. That's okay, thank you. Thank bye -bye. you, bye-bye. Yay, we got another one. She picked up. Let me go to call number nine. <laughs> Here comes call number nine. Hi, this is Sandy. Oh, hi, Sandy. Sorry, I have the right number. I have the wrong number. Not the right one. Oh, that's okay. Thanks. Bye-bye. Okay. So, yes. Yes, I have one more call. We've had three people pick up out of nine so far. So, one more call to make. Okay, here's my very last call. Let's see if this person picks up. If they pick up, then I win. Hello? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, who is this? This is Audra. Oh, okay. Sorry, I have the wrong phone number. Oh, it's okay. No okay, problem. thanks. Bye-bye. Okay. Woo! Four out of ten. Picked up. So tips by real estate agents and lenders, and these are all great tips to do. Seriously, think about it. You got to let stuff just roll off your back because you can find yourself with another real estate agent where things are complicated but yet you have to work with them because that's what the transaction insists on and you have to protect your client so don't take it personally i think that's huge i do too i hope you can use these tips pick up your phone you. good idea have more conversations Fix up the houses to the left and right talk to people it's all good stuff if you're not talking to people you're not getting anything don't pre-qualify hand them off to your lender this is all good stuff that we could use <laughs> all right you guys have a good one leave your comments down below forward share and subscribe we'll catch you later the national real estate post hey you know what we'll do next time mm. get three handsome guys to give tips <laughs> probably get more views